Good morning. We're here at Reflection Lake in Mount Rainier National Park. And today, we're gonna to talk all about the Bulldog Hitch. Okay, here's the Bulldog Hitch. It's a 7,000 pound hitch. It says it right here on top. The only thing, you know, it's a great hitch and I like it and all, but what I had to do was drill this out so it hit, fit the standard quarter inch shank. So I took it up just a touch. I went ahead and got my drill and drilled it up. I think it was like 3 16ths or maybe a touch bigger. So I don't know why that's the only thing, the only problem that I had with it was I had to drill it out just enough to where I could get this through. Um, the pin that came with her, I didn't want that pin. I want a locking pin. And this is just the master setup, the master lock setup. And this is off my old casita, the old lock, and this front end here. And we don't really care about this. This is just a cheap setup here, but it works, you know. Definitely works. Okay, to release it, all you gotta do, lift up, the other side falls out, and that's it. Okay, once again, just lift it up. It snaps open, and this actually corrals your ball in. Okay, you can see all this is is a door. Your ball actually sits up here on this side. And so you want your ball on this side when you go to put it in. And this simply corrals the ball. So your ball fits in and goes snugly against this wall here. This is where you want to sit when you lock it down. That way, when you push in on this, it completely and totally corrals it and holds it in place. So you can see it's completely and totally enclosed. Nowhere for it to go anywhere. And as long as this is snug down your collar, you're not going anywhere. This ball can't come out. This, this is one of the best hitches I've ever seen. Just lift it up, the door opens, and the ball comes over a little bit and comes down. A lot of people are having problems when they first get it because they're not centering it over this part. They're not centering it over this part over here. They're centering it over the whole thing open. And what they're doing is that way the ball's not sitting in place. You have to have it to the one side so the ball will lock up in place. And if it's over here, there's no way for it to push it in when you got the full weight of the trailer on the ball. So when you move back in, you want to keep it centered over here. And that way, it just closes right to it. And so here's a shot from the top. You want your ball, and you can see I've got paint on mine. This is because I have a rear view camera on the back of my car. And black on black with a ball I couldn't see, so I painted it orange. Um, some friends have painted it pink, and of course, you know, the girls are pink and yellow and all that kind of stuff. But I painted it orange because that's what I had. So when you're coming in, you can see here, you want to be to this side. You don't want to be sitting over here where it won't push in. And that's that on that part. Simple, excellent hitch.